I bought three services. Nose waxing. More nicks than a boy band. Chat LGBTQ. How about no, mini me? Uno segundo, por favor. Just fuck off. It does make me nervous doing this. Zucchini of Zootopia, good morning. How are you? Big day today. So we've got a couple of things planned. And it starts off with two videos to do, two shaving videos actually for the shaving series. So the first one is an actual shave, all right? Because I, I need to pick back up on the series on the straight razor, but this is, it, it's meant to work into the second video. So I did a partnership with Panasonic the other week, a couple of weeks ago, but while the metrics were really good on the video and it showed that it should have done well, just didn't perform. And the, the agency guy and the Panasonic team were really happy with it, but it just didn't do well. And I told them, oh, well, I have this belief that there should be value in the partnership on both sides. Like, I don't want to just take a check and be like, well, you know, sorry, it didn't perform well. That's what you get. Um, I want to make sure that you know, they're getting something out of it too. So I told them that I would do another video and I suggested an, the other product to use to do this video for and I, I gave them some ideas. They liked some of the ideas. One of them they particularly liked was nose waxing. I proposed this. Nose waxing versus using their nose trimmer. Now they've got this product called the Multi Shape, which has tons of different heads to it and one of them is a nose trimmer. So the first, the shaving video I'm going to do today is going to, I don't know if elude is the right word, but it's going to highlight that I notice how bad my nose hairs are and that I should order some nose waxing strips or whatever they're called to do a comparison, right? And so I can film both of those today because I have the nose waxing strips already. And then I've also got to do the cryotherapy video because I bought three services at this salon type place called Restore. Three services for $50, but you have to use them all in a week and I'm away for a long weekend. And so I really only have today and tomorrow. So I need to plan it today and shoot it tomorrow. So very busy day today. So we're going to edit at least one of the shaving videos. We're going to shoot it and edit it today. But I'm going to stop this until I get home. Hola, senor. <clears throat> I started writing my script out and I forgot that we have a process, don't we? So I got chat GDBT, chat LGBTQ, working on something. And I think I'll read you out the prompt I gave it. So again, of course, I used my uh, formula in this script. And what I have to do to prompt the script to give me what I'm looking for to write out the full script is the protagonist's experience. So in this case, because this is part of a longer series, I fed it with information from the previous videos that I've done and the kind of expectations that I want to come out of this. So the protagonist's experience has been learning to shave with a cutthroat razor because it makes him feel masculine, but to, continues to cut himself despite trying multiple suggestions left by viewers like practicing on a balloon, going slow and different shaving creams. creams. He has tried other electric shavers and even though they don't offer the high quality shave that a cutthroat razor does, he's come to the conclusion he doesn't need to be masculine to get a perfect shave. But in this video, he doesn't care about masculinity and instead simply wants to learn the skill of using a cutthroat razor. So here's what we've got. The setup want is, so if we're looking, goodness gracious me. So want, the catch, point of no return, the try result and the process. Climactic choice is here, bananas down here, 
crisis and the finale. Okay. Give myself a lot of space over here, haven't I? Now I need a flipping whiteboard uh, that you can just, I need a double whiteboard, don't I? One you can flip down. <laughs> All right. So the setup one, I thought using a cut razor would make me feel super manly, you know, like those old timey barbered movies. There was razor in hand thinking, how hard can this be? Famous last words, right? Don't know if I like that. The catch, despite all the tips from viewers of going slow, try this cream, practice on a balloon, I still ended up with more nicks than a boy band. More nicks. Not sure I get that. <laughs> Each morning was like a new adventure. Balloon shaving, popped it. Special cream, more like slip and slide for my razor. Jinkies, this is cringe. Crisis, electric shavers, sure they didn't bite, but it was like mowing the lawn with scissors, just didn't feel the same. Then I thought, wait, why not try shaving with my non-dominant hand? Sounds weird, but maybe I'd be more careful. How about no, mini-me? That was trash. What did I do with my pen? Don't know. But we have Skittles Littles. All right. I mentioned this morning that this video is going to be a prelude into the next video. So while I want to make another video on this shaving, I My immediate end goal out of this is to lead this video into noticing that I've got nose hairs and that I'm going to use the nose trimmer on this Panasonic thing with wax strips. So that needs to be laced into the story to give the viewer the expectation of what to expect and I want to make that exciting. So I'm wondering if I put the nose hair bits as the catch. Like, so I, the point of no return is taking the suggestion of getting super up close to the mirror. And that's where I noticed all the nose hairs. And then somewhere else in here, I can come up with the idea that I need to wax those rather than just one section of it. Yes, I like that. Uh, yes, so I don't normally do this backwards like this. Need shaver that does everything. Okay. All right, so I let go, so I want to be I've always wanted to use this because I wanted to be masculine, but actually that's not the case. I really wanted to just learn the skill of using a cutthroat razor. So if my setup want is I think the point in a return is get up close and personal notice nose has What is the thing that gets set up in this video? Mastering a skill? So if, if we have the hook to the video, 
which this is a whole another topic for me to think through, but I think I want to get away from the traditional style of hook. You know what, let's just get into it now, actually, because it's, it's quite a good topic. So, in my opinion, you have influencers and you have content creators. The influencer is the type of, you need this, you won't survive, like, run, don't walk to your nearest target, like, just fuck off. And then you have content creators, which are people who are making content for the enjoyment of it. It's not to sell you something. I was watching a ninja, it was a, a ninja clip yesterday, so the Fortnite player, and he's playing with all of his friends, like a guy called Cypher PK, Tina Tapman, and Courage JD. Now, Courage JD and Cypher PK make content videos about, I don't know, some of them on TikTok recently have been like, the hook to the video is, this is the place you have to go in chapter five, season, whatever. Like, this is the best loot in whatever. And Ninja is going off on them of just like, it's so cringe. Like, it's so inauthentic to be like that high level boost just to get you involved in the video. And it's funny how like the other day I wanted to get away from that because I, I hate what that is. But it doesn't really work. It's, it's a difficult place. So if I like, look at the retention on this video. So you see how this line is pretty flat the whole way across. That is amazing. That's what you want. So that shows that once someone got roped into the story, they stayed for the whole duration. Instead of like dropping off at random points. This is, that's, this is what I'm going for the whole time. But the hook in, and I did this video as a much more relaxed style of, of conversational going through this. And you'll see that the hook lost a load of people. Like I would expect that to be up at 70% for a video to do well. Now, if the hook was good, the video would have done really well because there's a very slow decline, a very slow drop off. And so what that essentially tells me is the hook needs to be powerful to get someone to stay. I don't love that idea. I kind of want to move away from that, but I think I have to slowly move away from that. So the hook still has to be powerful and in your face, but I can go more like low key and relaxed through the rest of the story and not as dramatic. So we're gonna do that. So we'll have our hook and then Um, how do I, t how do I, because I want to get, one sec, sorry. cut that because it was, oh, hang on. <laughs> I cut that because it was just me replying to my wife and I wasn't talking for a while. Uh, like in every other video, I talk about my previous experience. But I want the person to see that I'm getting into shaving. How did I do it for? The one that did five and a half million, actually up until this recent one, they all did really well. Where, where are you? Here we go. And last week I cut my face open trying to shave with it, trying to be a real man. So, 
so it could be uh, I've been cutting my face open and the I'm just spitballing here and the idea a cutthroat razor will make me a real man. This pen's basically dead. That's where there were two in here. Where did you go? You're not in my pocket, are you? Here it is, in my hat. Why are you in my hat? Um, I think I say that I've been practicing and when I realized I'm just gonna throw it in here I've been practicing, but after realizing using a cut th throat doesn't make me more masculine. But after realizing using a cutthroat doesn't make me more masculine, I really just want to learn the skill. Want to master. Now, this is a lot. So, oh, wait. With good first swipes on my spread cheeks. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna uh, change this around slightly, but I like this. My setup one is to master the skill, which would be something like this. So I get up close and personal I'm conflicted as to whether or not I want the want to come first or the point of no return to come first. I kind of want to show that I get straight into shaving. Like, I got up close and personal, spread my cheeks, with some successful first swipes. But I also noticed something about my nose hairs. Um, and then maybe I can add 
like this once, I can shift into this area here, which is along the lines of, like I've been practicing and while I thought I wanted to use a cut rosa, cut throat razor because it would make me more manly, I actually realized that I just want, like I wanted to master the skill. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think as I So like I've been going pr I've been practicing been practicing going slower. and enjoying the process. Um, been practicing going slower and enjoying the process. Because I've realized I first, like I started using cutthroat razor. I first started because I wanted to look more masculine. I first started because I wanted to look more masculine, but then realized I actually wanted to master a new skill. How do I fit that in with need a shaver that does everything? I think Mastering skill and enjoy the journey. Okay, and where was I going next? Um, uh, some comment here about the nose hairs. has
but the cutthroat razor was useless for that. While like shaving with a cutthroat razor is enjoyable, I need a shaver that does everything. Hmm, don't know about that. Get sight of nose hairs again, but razor was useless for that. Okay, I'll tell you one thing that's really nice about this product is that the multi shape is that it's essentially one tool, one, I guess, motor handle. And then you put all the attachments on top. So you could have a toothbrush, you could have nose hair trimmer, the beard trimmer, uh, a shaver. And I think that's really cool having that one thing. You just take the different heads with you when you need to go somewhere or you just, I don't really go places that much that I would need that. I, I think I'm mostly thinking here of how I want to integrate this because I don't want it to be like, I just wish there was a product that did everything. How do I migrate this into um, the crisis is I need to trim my nose hair and bring up nose wax strips. Okay, sorry, I just, I wasn't thinking very clearly and it was a waste of time for you. So, <clears throat> and I just couldn't think. So I made some changes in here that we have the hook and then I go into wanting to master the skill and show like my previous ex times doing it. Um, and then I go into the point of no return where I get up close and personal. I added in this quote here. I quite like it. Stretching out my plump, juicy cheeks, getting up close and personal for the first few swipes. And then I notice my nose has just like some kind of comment about that. Then I move into wife suggested like waxing my face, but I've been practicing going slower and enjoying the process. The reason why I started and moving away from that toxic masculinity and into just wanting to mask a, a new skill. Then I cut myself. So we have like a disruption in there because this is all too smooth. Then we move into like, while I'm checking out my cut, I notice the nose hairs. And I, I think this section here should be something that I say like on camera at the time, like something about my nose hairs, having to do something about them. So then, so I could use a nose trimmer. Maybe I don't even need to, I don't even need to say that. And then I just, I somehow link ordering nose waxing strips into Shay's suggestion of waxing. And then I get back into shaving. And while I know we all have busy lives, sometimes slowing down to enjoy the process 
is good for us. That's the kind of message out of it. And then I think that's quite nice. That's also a tee up for the next shaving video where I move out of this place of like, yes, it's nice to learn and master this skill, but sometimes it takes too much time and I want to see how long it takes to use a shaver versus a straight razor, a cutthroat razor. Like it, like it a lot. Okay, I think, I think we go and shoot that. I think last time was pretty boring sat watching me shave. So I'm just gonna film this bit and try and do it more naturally. I think the only things that I'm teeing up and like making sure that happen, I'm sure I'm gonna cut myself anyway, but like, I, oh no, the only thing I'm teeing up is noticing the nose hairs and then ordering the wax strips. Yeah, so it's a pretty natural looking video because I'm, I'm just talking over the top and then the shaving is happening in the background. But yeah, let me go and shoot this. Hello, you gentle sausage. Uh, it's 7.23. Uh, wife is putting Ruger down. Like we spend the evening with him together, but he's struggling to go to sleep without mom there. And I need to get some stuff done because we're taking a, a longish weekend. But I thought you might find this interesting as I edit, what the heck? As I edit this video, which was the shaving video from today, because the style is a lot more relaxed. Like I just filmed the voiceover for it and it's a lot more conversational. I actually really prefer it to the previous style, which was much more like high energy, and like inauthentic almost. I, I, I feel like an idiot talking about these, you know, inauthentic and this crap all the time. But <clears throat> I think something that's always in my mind is how do I keep what I'm doing sustainable? Like how do I keep enjoying what I'm doing and the way to do that is to make what I'm doing more real. Like I was try, I think before I've been trying to emphasize different parts of the video because I think, well, and I know that those are going to help make the video do better, but it kind of makes me feel a bit gross inside as I listen to it back and I'm like, why is this all so dramatic? Like, why can't the story itself be enjoyable enough that I can just kind of tell it in a conversational format? As if, yeah, so, I think I'll just play, let me cut up this section and then just play it back and you see what you think versus like a, a super high energy, like kind of fake. That is the face, that is the face of a man who, that is the Me. <laughs> Uno segundo, por favor. Uh. That is the, stretching out my, stretching out my, instead of. I'm just topping and tailing here. I like this so much more to watch back. And I think this brings out a bit more of my personality style, which is a bit, which is way more laid back. And it's much more, yeah, just real. Like, it seems crazy to me that 
all these previous videos that I thought were kind of real, the whole point that I got into doing storytelling videos was because I wanted to be more real. But I've somehow migrated away from that as I try and make the story as dramatic as possible. And I think this is because of my style. Where it's like I've, I've been thinking all about making things go up and up and up and up and up. And then something good happens, but there's also something bad. And then something good and then something bad. And you go down and down and down. You spiral down until eventually you get to a point where you can't keep going at this bad point. My focus has been, how can I create as much tension as possible? And it's kind of draining. That's only half true. One half. That's only half true. So they just a nose trimmer. That's that's only half. True. But obviously, I'm I'm actually really nervous about this style because. I don't know how it's going to do. I'm changing. God, this script is short. Darren, that's 45 seconds. Let's hope I've got a lot of footage to bring in there. I think I do. Let's uh, control S. So. Maybe let me bring in the parts that I say during the video. I won't add like clips over the top, but then maybe we'll just get an idea, like I'll play it through and we'll get an idea of how it feels. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this process is kind of boring, so I'll stop and then I'll be back in like a couple of minutes. So in a second. <laughs> okay, senor. <clears throat> I'd like you to have a watch of this and tell me what you think. That is the face of a man who's lost to a cutthroat razor as I've been trying to learn how to shave with it for all the wrong reasons. This hoodie was a bad idea. Stretching out my plump, juicy cheeks, I got up close and personal for the first few swipes. Bloody hell, look at her nose hairs. Poke those back in. I've been cutting myself every time. Shay suggested I try waxing strips. As if I'm not the wussy who struggles on the needle mat. Jinkies. Or finds a sauna too hot. So I just practice going really slow. Feel a bit lopsided. It's okay though. Not okay. I started using a cutthroat razor because I thought it was just super masculine, but then I realized I actually kind of just wanted to master the age-old skill. Good, good, that looks. That's only half true, because one time I saw MGK using it, and I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh, I tell you what, those nose hairs, we've got to do something about that, haven't we? Those are outrageous. You want to have a look? Honestly, just a nose trimmer would have been a good idea, but Shay's waxing idea took me in a different direction. Just all the nose waxing kit, so that'll be fun. Like, I know we all have busy lives, and... Amazon returns to do, but sometimes just slowing down and enjoy. Sorry. Uh, enjoying the process is just what we need. Just the one cut is definitely an improvement. What did you think? Uh, I quite like that. I like. <clears throat> I like the pacing. It's definitely not as high energy as the previous ones. It's more low key, has the story aspect to it. I kind of like how I've brought in other videos I've done. It seems much more real, doesn't it? I'm just doing a couple of crop ins. I know we all have busy lives and I think waxing idea. This one should be a zoom in on me on my phone. It took me in a different direction. That's too much. Direction. Just all the nose waxing kit, so that'll be fun. Like, I know we all have busy lives and oh, I tell you what. And I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh, I tell you what. And I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh. Um Maybe I'll do super zoomed in here. I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh. Uh, 
so this should definitely be the same as the clip next to it, but just seeing how I feel. So try it too. Oh. And I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh. I tell you what, those nose heads, we've got to do something about that, haven't we? Those are outrageous. You want to have a look? Honestly, just a nose trimmer would have been a good idea, but shave whack. That is the face of a man who's lost to a corporate <coughs> razor, as I've been trying to learn how to shave with it for all the wrong reasons. Hoodie was a bad idea. Stretching out my plump, juicy cheeks, I got up close and personal for the first few swipes. Bloody hell, look at those nose heads. Poke those back in. I've been cutting myself every time. Shay suggested I try waxing strips. As if I'm not the wussy who struggles on the needle mat. Jinkies. Or finds a sauna too hot. So I just practice going really slow. Feel a bit lopsided. Okay, though. Not okay. I started using a cutthroat razor because I thought it was just super masculine, but then I realized I actually kind of just wanted to mark. I think this should be. I thought it was just super masculine, but then I realized I actually kind of just wanted to master the age old skill. Good, good, that looks. That's only half true because one time I saw MGK using it and I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh. I tell you what, those nose heads, we've got to do something about that, haven't we? Those are outrageous. You want to have a look? Honestly, just a nose trimmer would have been a good idea, but Shay's waxing idea took me in a different direction. Just all of the nose waxing kit, so that'll be fun. Like, I know we all have busy lives and Amazon returns to do, but sometimes just slowing down and enjoying the process is just what we need. Just the one cut is done. Maybe I need a shot in here of uh, me finishing it off. I, yeah, I think just a closing shot of me finishing off the shave or perhaps. Maybe there, I've like washing off. That is maybe a nice little tickle to put in here. Slowing down and enjoying the process. This. Slowing down and in and tail this off. Slowing down and enjoying the process. I don't need that as cropped in as that, do I, silly thothage? Slowing down and enjoying the process. Amazon returns to do, but. Oops. Sometimes just slowing down and enjoying the process is just what we need. Just too loud to do, but sometimes just slowing down and enjoying the process is just what we need. Just the one cut is definitely an improvement. Sometimes just slowing down and enjoying the process is just what we need. Just the one cut is definitely an improvement. Okay. I quite like this. Now, if I just get captions on top of it, maybe I'm done with that. I'm going to watch it on my phone. I just, I really like... I like that it feels more chilled. Now, I'll tell you, one other thing that it does make me nervous doing this, I, mean, I know I mentioned that, but... Why does it make me nervous? It's essentially like taking, imagine you run a business. It's like taking your business model and adapting your business model. So one day you know it works and the next day you're like, let's try something. I have no idea if it's gonna work, what it's gonna look like, but let's give it a go. That's how this feels. That's, it's not just how it feels, that's how it actually is. Um, straight razor. But 
That's what life is all about, isn't it? It's all about experimenting. Like really the only thing stopping me from experimenting is the fact that I may reduce my average views, which will reduce the number of brand deals I have coming in. Uh, sorry, that was me looking around for whatever brand deals I have right now, which is zero, zero. So it doesn't matter. And that is the nice position to be in. Whereas like if I was constantly having brand deals, then I'm sure I would feel slightly different. It's like I would have to keep that running. Right, let's see what I think. Oh, I've got to add captions, haven't I? What a donut. You donut. Um, <clears throat> so interesting move. I For the Panasonic deal, the video didn't do well organically. So I told them I'd, do, I'd redo it. And we're trying to see if, like I told them I would do it for free. And we're trying to see if they will pay for Spark ads, which is which is essentially um, they're paying for the rights to be able to push the video as an ad. Now, this is something that from a non-content creator's perspective, you might think, how the hell are you gonna charge a brand for that when they're gonna push your video for you? Like, just remember that everything you've created here, you spent the time to create, is, it could be an asset for them. So while a video may go to an audience organically, they could put money behind the video to go to a wider audience, but what are they gonna put money behind if there's no content in the first place? So they should pay for the rights to be able to use that content as an ad. Now I think when we, we look at the content creator versus a brand, we think that the brand is in this like super powerful position over the content creator, but actually I don't see it as one has more power than the other but the content creator is the one that knows how to make content that works. Well, I, I'm meant to know how to make content that works. So essentially you're like a contractor for these brands. And like someone like me has spent years trying to figure out the information that I know. And instead of them trying to figure it all out too, they could just contract in my services. That's essentially what it is. As I've been trying to learn how to shave with it for all the wrong reasons. Why? For all the wrong reasons. Hoodie was a bad idea. Stretching out my plump, juicy cheeks, I got up close and personal for the first few swipes. Bloody hell, look at her nose hairs. Hope those back in. I've been cutting my. Hope those back in. Poke. So, yeah. Um, this video is a prelude to the next one where I will do a comparison of a nose hair trimmer versus the nose waxing strips. And the nose hair trimmer is one of their products. And I'm hoping it does well. Hoping that we can get something out of that, like longer term. I've been cutting myself every time. Shay suggested I try waxing. All right, uh, what else? Oh yeah, so where I was going with that. I'll post this video tomorrow and then we'll do the nose waxing video either tomorrow morning, I might try and plan that out tomorrow morning and then film it Monday because we're doing my wife's family's Christmas this weekend. Film it Monday and post Monday or Tuesday because they would like to run ads on it for the Christmas period, so that would be good. So the sooner I can get it ready, the better. It's actually a really good,
the product that I'll be using in that video. I used the trimmer and the shaver part of it today. Dude, it's actually, I'm very impressed with it, which is weird to say. I'm very impressed with a razor, that's so cool. But no, it's done a really good job. Like the, it's one of those like coil shavers. So it's, you have the piece and then you have all the different heads to it. And it just, it now means that I can have one handle and I just take the one, tri one trimmer head for this the coil shaver, which could also do my cheeks. It's got toothbrush head fitting. What else? Oh yeah, the nose trimmer. I think that's it. Like that's pretty cool to take everywhere with you. Instead of having to take a toothbrush, a trimmer and a shaver. And a nose, I don't know if I'd take a nose hair trimmer if I went traveling, but it's nice to have it all in one. Okay, should we call the video here today? Get stuck in tomorrow morning. I've also got to shoot the cryotherapy and sauna. If I have time, maybe I can do that tomorrow morning before we leave. Yeah, what if, we ha what if this is the plan? First thing tomorrow morning, we plan out the nose hair video, the nose hair waxing and the cryotherapy and what and sauna and then when the place opens at 10 o'clock i go and get those done oliver we like that cool happy chappy see you see you tomorrow oh and maybe this weekend depending on the weather i'll take my drones maybe we can do some flying i might have time i probably won't have time i'll probably be looking after ruger i try and while my wife is there with her family since we don't see them all that often. I try and let her just get involved with her family and I take looking after Ruger uh, so that she could, doesn't have to think about being with Ruger. She can think about being there with her family. But she always likes thinking about Ruger the whole time anyway, so <laughs> whatever. All right, later, dude. <laughs> dude.